Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech TV. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to log into Binance on your Android device. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. If you want to log into your Binance account on your Android device, tap open your Binance application first. Make sure that you've created an account for yourself as well. Once you have it, tap on sign up slash login button. Once you end up in the login area, tap on any one option that says email or phone number. Make sure to select the same option that you used while signing up for your account. For example, if you've signed up for your Binance account using phone number, tap on the phone number option. If you've used your email address while signing up, choose email. Now, type in your email address associated with your Binance account and make sure to enter the password that you created while signing up on the next field. Once you type in your email address and your password, tap on the login button. But in case you've forgotten your password, tap on forgot password link at the bottom left and follow the on-screen prompts so that you can reset to a new password. You can also continue logging in with your Google account, but remember that you must have signed up with your Google account while registering as well. Finally, after entering your email address and your password, tap log in in yellow, complete the capture displayed on the screen and tap OK to verify. You'll need to enter an email verification code in order to log into your account for security reasons. Tap Get Code from the text box and wait until you receive a verification code on your email address. Once you receive the verification code, type it in in the text box. Make sure to type it in correct and tap the submit button at the bottom. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to log into your Binance account right away on your Android device. That is how it can be done. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll soon be back with more videos like this. Thanks for watching.